supervisors, you face challenges every day as part of your responsibility for managing and coaching those who work for you. One of the responsibilities of supervisors, and often one of the toughest to handle, is having difficult conversations with employees. These can involve work performance issues, addressing conflicts in the workplace, personal issues, even dealing properly with layoffs and terminations. It is critical to handle these situations in a tactful, appropriate, and productive manner. This video series, Conquering Difficult Conversations, is designed to give supervisors the confidence to meet these challenging situations proactively and to address them in an objective manner. Of course, it would be nice if everyone got along, but unfortunately, conflict does enter the workplace. As a supervisor, it is essential that you address conflicts among employees immediately and find ways to manage them. If left unchecked, such conflicts can and often do undermine the morale and performance of your team. In Managing Conflict, you will see several dramatized scenarios first shown done in an inappropriate manner, then in a more acceptable manner. First, let's hear what people in industry have to say about this issue. A certain amount of conflict is probably normal in any work setting. I think sometimes some, some great discussions uh, occur as a result of conflict, but you need to know when they've gone too far. And so when people start being critical or rude uh, sarcastic. I think it's time to step in and say, okay, uh, you know, we've got some, we've had some good discussion here, let's start over. You need to be very careful not to be judgmental or to label anybody uh, based upon uh, their ethnicity or their sex, you know, oh, by making remarks when you're trying to manage a situation, well, you know, women are always like that. Wrong wrong kind of thing to say, yet people say it. So um, I, th I think that's really the main thing. You need to keep any, any inappropriate or illegal comments, you know, based upon ethnicity, based upon age. Oh, this person is, they're not performing any well because he's old. He's slowing down. Really? You know? You have no idea if that's if that's the situation or not. So why put that why put that label on it? Because you've just bought yourself a lawsuit. So you, you need you need to just deal with the issue as the issue. I, I think there is a specific conflict resolution process that's very helpful in dealing with um, two employees who are having difficulty coexisting. Um, I think the process is first is, you know, making sure that there's not any um, underlying issues, reasons why perhaps one person wants to win that has nothing to do with the work of the day. I think it's important that you get both sides of the story. You give both individuals an opportunity to um, tell their story then it's important that you bring them together to solve the problem together, to lay it all out, and to explain the importance of getting on with the show, and, but giving them an opportunity to solve the problem, and then having them come up with an action plan and set some goals for themselves. And then it's important that you as a supervisor or manager continue to stay on top of that and to make sure that their plan is coming together and the work is getting done. In this scenario, Brian and Angie are working together on a project, but for some reason they cannot get along. After observing their contentious behavior on several occasions, Ron, their supervisor, steps in. But you're not making any sense! What do you mean I'm not making any sense? Well, Just it's very... look at the I looked at the files. This is the way we put them together. I don't know what you're doing. Nobody else can figure out no, what you're doing. Look, I've read this, the files. I know how things go. Well, that's all well suggestion. and good, but we've been doing this forever this way, and it I works. I see you've been doing it forever, but, but obviously it's not working. So we're going to change it. It doesn't work for you. Make 
makes no sense. It does I, make sense. I don't it's a read great this idea. language. I don't understand well, this. Language. I don't know why Look, you don't read it. It could be it. like this. It makes just as much sense this way. Well, that's it what you think. It follows is a nothing. Great idea. There is nothing on this. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, show me. Show me on this. It's a great show idea. me where it's. Right show here. me where the great part is. I see no. nothing in this. Get this deadline. We have to meet it. We have to get this done. What do you mean? I know it's a different way of doing things, but we have to at least try. Brian, I know what I'm talking about. Just just come over here, look at the files with me so we can get this stuff taken care of. Okay, this has been going on for too long. I just don't understand why you two can't get along. It's because Brian's always on a power trip. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just trying to get things done. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be on phase one of this project. See, power trip. Hey. Hey, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, you two are both solid performers. But when you get together, all you do is fight and nothing gets done. You need to stop all this bickering and arguing and find a way to make this work. I don't think that's possible, Ron. Oh, finally, we agree on something. This is nothing to joke about. Now, you two need to get along, or at least get to a point where you can work together. And if you can't figure it out, then you might face well, we might have to let you go. What? You heard me. Now get back to work. And please, for everyone's sake, try and make this work, okay? How? Yeah. I mean, she's always on my case about something. If you'd pull your weight, I wouldn't have to be on your case. Please. Look, I have a solution. Take me off the project. I've had enough. Just like you. Giving up. Walking away. Okay, stop it. Nobody is being taken off the project. You two will find a way to work together. End of the discussion. What was wrong with how Ron handled the situation? Welcome back. Now let's look at how Ron could have handled this situation to get to the real issue between Brian and Angie. But you're not making any sense. What do you mean I'm not making any sense? Well, Just it's very, look at the files. No, I looked at the files. This is the way we put them together. I don't know what you're doing. Nobody else can figure out look, what you're doing. Look, I've read this, the files. I know how things go. Well, Just that's look all at my well and good. Well, we've been doing this forever this way, and it I works. I see you've been doing it forever, but, but obviously it's not working. So we're going to change it. It makes no sense. I, sense. I don't read this idea. language. I don't understand well, this. I language. don't know why Look, you don't read it. It could be it. like this. It makes just as much sense this way. Well, that's it what you think. It follows is a nothing. Great idea. There is nothing on this. Oh, yes, it is. Look, show me. Show me on this. It's a great show idea. me where it's. Right show here. me where the great part is. I see it's nothing cool. in this. Get this deadline. We have to meet it. We have to get this done. What do you mean? I know it's a different way of doing things, but we have to at least try. Brian, I know what I'm talking about. Just just come over here, look at the files with me so we can get this stuff taken care of. Hi, Angie. Have a seat. Angie, I've been going over the timeline on the software upgrade project, and at this point, we're a week behind. I've also noticed that some of the work isn't up to the specs that we agreed on. Can you explain what's going on? Yeah, I have a good idea. Okay, I'm all ears. It's Brian. What about him? He's difficult to work with. Well, how do you mean? He doesn't take my suggestions seriously. He's always confronting me about the quality of my work in front of others. He doesn't communicate with me. I don't know if he expects me to read his mind or what. Um, he's always overriding my decisions also. Well, do you know why this might be? I don't know. It's like he's had a chip on his shoulder ever since we've been put on this project together. I certainly haven't done anything to cause this problem. Well, we need to get this project back on track. I'm going to start by getting to the bottom of this issue between you and Brian. I'll talk to Brian and get his perspective on the issue. Good luck. Brian, the software upgrade project is starting to get off track. We're a week behind where we should be and some of the work isn't up to the specs. I figured it was only a matter of time before she got me in trouble. Excuse me? Angie. I mean, she's always pushing my buttons. Brian, can you give me some examples? Angie is one of our best new people. I thought the two of you would make a great team. Oh, yeah, like oil and water. She's always coming up with these ideas on her own, changing the way we do things. You can tell she hasn't spent much time in the trenches like I have. 
What makes you say that? Well, if she spent more time in the trenches, she'd understand why we do the things we do. Then she'd see how her new ideas and changes would affect everything. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand what's going on. I think the three of us need to meet and talk and see if we can arrive at a solution. Hmm? So, I wanted the three of us to get together and see if we could work out your disagreements. Okay, someone needs to start here. Brian? Well, she's... I can tell you what it is. Uh, 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 Angie, please, let Brian finish. Go ahead, Brian. You see, Angie, that is exactly what I'm talking about. You don't even give me a chance to talk. You just start right in. Brian, I think you need to explain that comment a little. Well, you know I've been working here for a long time, and I... Actually, we have a certain way of doing things. And then she walks in, and it seems like she's trying to take over. I mean, she hasn't been here that long. Why do you feel that way? I guess I just got used to the way things have been. I'm just not used to someone coming in with new ideas and changing the way we do things when I've been with the company for years, and I know how we do, or how we did things. Angie, do you have any comments on this? I'm not trying to take over. I'm just trying to do my job. And there's more than one way to do something. That's true. And some of your ideas have been pretty good. But do you have to be so heavy-handed with them? I knew when I started here that I would have to work my butt off to get up to speed, so I did. I value you and your experience, but right off the bat, it seemed like I rubbed you the wrong way or you didn't like me. Oh, your take charge attitude came out right away and put me off. I don't mean to offend anyone. You don't know how much I've learned from you since I started here. All I care about is doing a good job helping the team and the company. Yeah, I want that too. I'm sorry I took some things out on you, Angie. I guess I was just feeling a little, maybe threatened by how fast you pick up things and how eager you are. I may come off a little strong sometimes. <laughs> I'll work on that. I need to realize that things change, and there are lots of ways of getting things done. Okay, I think you two have reached an understanding. Now, can I assume that things are going to get better out there and that we're going to get this project back on track? I think so. Yes, absolutely. Well, good. But just to make sure, I'm going to set up some weekly benchmarks and we're going to review them every Monday. Sound like a plan? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What was right in how this situation was handled? 